Another sellout crowd, 92,318 here at Bryant-Denny Stadium. Homecoming. And Crimson Tide pay-per-view on the air. Again, along with Tyler Watts and Barry Krause, I'm Chris Stewart. Welcome to Tuscaloosa as we are underway. Arenas will field it five yards deep in wise layoffs to take the touchback. Good to see Travis McCall back after being injured a week ago. He was the tight end shifting out of play. And it's Coffey, not Grant, who gets the first carry. Glenn Coffey getting the nod. The 6'2", 225-pound sophomore out of Fort Walton Beach. Coffey with six carries for 71 yards a week ago on play action. Wilson rolling the pocket. He'll run for the first down, and he will get it. And wisely eludes one would-be tackler and gets out of bounds. But you see right there, some of those misleading because of sacks that he'll take as you got a flag coming in. That will likely nullify the game by Coffey. A couple of eight-yard pickups from Coffey and on the delay give. More running room, another first down, and he is to the midfield stripe. Actually, they'll spot him in Houston territory. The Cougars 49, Trent Allen making a stop. On second and six, the give to Coffey once again. Nice pass to get inside the 40, and he'll get Knocked out of bounds at the 36, but it'll be another Crimson Tide first down. Just getting in their way allows Coffee to get upfield. Coffee again on the give, getting to the corner, cuts it back inside the 30, and the Crimson Tide not doing a whole lot fancy right here, Tyler. He's running the football right at the Houston defense. Three wideouts in formation. And movement again. This will likely be against the Cougars. As the play lost a half yard, but again, let's wait on the flag. Offsides, number 56, defense. Five yard penalty, first down. Tight end McCall lined up at fullback, running interference. Getting to the outside, getting to the boundary, and getting bumped out of bounds, just shy of the first down mark. As Bama goes with the two tight end look to the right side. Again, once more. His way inside the 10. It'll be first and goal out of Emma at the Houston six yard line. Preston Dial checking in to give a three tight end look. And the keep. Touchdown Alabama. Jock Parker Wilson on the quarterback sneak. And Alabama converting on a third down for the second time on this drive. And it always comes down to how do you perform on first and second down? The best third down conver conversion is you don't have to face one. Bobbled by Tarek Williams, but then he recovers and gets across the 20. Flags come flying in as Alabama puts a lot of crimson helmets. During the return, illegal block in the back, number 40, return team. 10-yard penalty, first down. will shift a couple of times before going on the snap to Blake Joseph who gets the start. Heavy pressure and he'll go down. Brandon Getter. So a third down upcoming. But another flag comes in. Maybe an illegal substitution. Dead ball foul. Substitution infraction. Number 10, defense. Broke the huddle with 12 players. Still third down. Joseph from the gun with time. Pressure. Pass is thrown up, and it is almost intercepted by Darren Mustard. It was Wallace Gilberry who got a hand on him. And let's see, are they going to call intentional grounding in the safety? Intentional grounding, number 15, offense. Penalties lost it down. That's follow the foul. Safety. So the Alabama defense called the tight end checks out as Matt Cadell comes in to replace him working from the gun. They'll dump it off sitting up here around receiver screen to do hard and makes one man miss and gets up to the 45 yard line. That'll be enough for the first down. And Brown. A little shuffle pass underneath the coffee running room and then he gets leveled as he gets into Houston territory. The power set with Huber in at fullback and three tight ends. We see Walker and McCall shifting to the left side. Actually, a two tight end look. Straight give, Coffee. 
gets across the 45, and that'll be plenty for the first down. With Antoine Caldwell starting at right guard in place of Marlon Davis, who's out after having missed a couple days of practice. Excused absences. A little jump off the coffee, and that'll get him five or six yards. Grant checking in, joining Wilson to backfield as he works from the gun. Dumping it off on the screen. He's got Caldwell out there running interference, and he'll pick up the first down and a couple of yards more. So first and ten Alabama to give. Grant lost the football, and he's got it. Bama got it back, and I think it was Grant who fought and clawed to get it back. Second and two. Play action. Looking deep for Stover. He is wide open. Touchdown, Alabama. John Parker Wilson on a 23-yard touchdown strike to Nikita Stover. Cougars starting at their own 21. Joseph on the inside handoff. And plenty of running room there on a first down give to Anthony Aldridge. 12 punts, averaging about 39 yards per kick. High, beautiful spiraling kick that sends Arenas back inside the 15. Looking for running room. He'll change direction, and he'll be brought down quickly at the 15. Some incomplete passes will... Shorten that, but two series, one of them ending with a safety as that church turns the corner. And that church has running room up across the 40 yard line. It'll be an Alabama first down. Play action again. Wilson looking for it all, looking for Hall. He got bunkers with a pass interference. As you had Rocky Schwartz, the free safety. Pass interference, number 20, defense. 15 yard penalty. Automatic first down. Second and 11. Uh, he's got movement, and this one's likely going to be stepped back again. We had Phillip Hunt, the defensive end, moving, but it looked like Travis McCall may have taken a little half step forward as well. When you are 6'5, 340, and you move, people are going to know it. Play action, rolling the pocket with Brett, running interference. Wilson now having a tough. He's got a lot of room, and he just now recognizes it. He will get positive yardage, and then we'll get swung out of the hands, and there's a flag. That will be unnecessary roughness. Six seconds on the clock. There's Wilson on play action. Looking, throwing, McCoy, touchdown Alabama. John Parker Wilson to Mike McCoy, his first career touchdown grab, 23 yards, and Alabama leading it now. 22 to nothing. And because of a high spiraling kick, great coverage by the Cougars. Arenas with no return yardage on that play, but this one is shanked off the side of his foot. And it will be down at the 43-yard line of the Crimson Tide. Great starting field position for Alabama. 201 yards of total offense. Two touchdown passes from John Parker Wilson. He also had a short quarterback sneak as we got flags that come flying in once more. It's going to be the eighth penalty of the ball game. Bama's been flagged once. A low wobbly kick. And running room for Williams as he gets across the 25 to about the 27-yard line. Tarek Williams averaging 483 yards per game, but only 13 so far. Joseph having to tuck it and run, and he'll get the first down, and that's a big play for the Cougars. If they go three and out there, Tyler, see five and six at some points. They'll swing it out in a hurry, getting it in the hands of Aldridge, and he picks up good yardage up to about the 49. And now it's starting to free and loosen up this Alabama defense. Second and one, give Aldridge first down into Bama territory at the 47, Brandon Dederick. We'll take whatever help we can get. Turner with his third punt. And Arenas wisely lets this one go into the end zone. Tarek Williams is the deep man. Low wobbly kick. And it will take an Alabama roll down to the 35-yard line. We had praised the defense perhaps a wee bit too much in a split second too soon. They almost got burned for the home run there. Instead, they'll get Aldridge. 
and Aldridge will get good yardage. Tremendous speed. They'll hurry. They'll lose the football. It's on the ground, and the play is still alive. And did they get the first down? They did. Again, the ball hits the ground. Joseph Bowe wrapped up, throws, pass complete. First down yardage, and then bumped out of bounds. Nick Saban. The head coach then, now the band head man. Pressure coming. Joseph throwing. Firing, and it's out of bounds. And again, the Alabama defense doing its job. For 82 yards and a couple of touchdowns. Fitzgerald, another punt that's fielded by Williams, and great coverage there by Alabama. First quarter, a big one for the tie. 23 points, nothing here in the second. Pass across the middle. Oh, that's Avery. One man to beat. And he does. Touchdown, Houston. Marcus Carter trying to hang on. Coffee back in the ball game, dotting the eye as McCall shifts. They'll give it to Coffee, and he will bounce off a couple of tacklers and pick up about eight yards on that play. Barry Krause, what do you got for us? Oh, well, you know, when you talk about identity, you know, one of the things Coach Saban doesn't want to give up this week was the big play. And, you know, here this football team had played so well all through that first half, and all of a sudden they gave up the big play. And they call this the red ball offense, the hurry up for Alabama. Dumping it off, coffee. Got one block, needed another. Gets to the 37-yard line. Had he been able to do that, he would have picked up the first down yardage and more. Wilson looking, throwing, pass caught Cadell up to the 49-yard line with 10 seconds to go. They've got one timeout left, plus they can use the boundary if necessary. Wilson, the short drop, looking, dumping it off. Coffee trying to cut it back, and he slipped. And Alabama will see the clock hit zeros as the first half comes to a close. Disappointing ways for the half to come to a close, but all in all, pretty good for the Crimson Tide. 23-7. to Alabama with the lead over the Houston Cougars. Barry Krause handles our Cook's Pest Control sideline reports. We'll hear from him a bit later. Inside and off and so much running room for Anthony Aldridge. First half, three punts, averaging 41.7 per kick. Had a long of 51. Another booming kick here. Arenas set to field it at his 25. Broke free from one man, but then it'll be brought down back at the 27-yard line. Play action. Wilson looking across the middle. Walker is there. Great grab. First down into Houston territory and goes out of bounds at the 45-yard line. That's a great grab. 26 yards on the play. Bama hurries to the line. Coffee to give. Try to cut it back, does so nicely, getting inside the 40 to Houston's 39-yard line. Rocky Schwartz, the free safety, coming up to make the hit. Third and less than a yard for the Tide. Wilson keeping it himself. Kyle moves forward, and that will move the chains as well. 10:49. Time on the third quarter clock is Alabama. Actually gave up two big plays, only one of which the Cougars were able to convert on. They dropped what would have been a touchdown on a series earlier in that second quarter. Fitzgerald, a high spiraling kick. Can anybody get there? No. It carries into the end zone. That'll be a touchback. But since then, Blake Joseph and the Cougars have warmed up a bit. Still, Alabama did a nice job. Pressure. Joseph looking. Little option pitch right side. And picking up the first down yardage and more is Terrence Ganaway. I believe he had moved a yard beyond the line of scrimmage, but instead it picks up 16. It's Anthony Aldridge. Getting five, maybe six yards, and we're starting to see that Houston offense click just a bit. Seen as many as six defensive backs often today for the Tide. Again, Aldridge getting the corner. Man, the speed he has to hit the corner and then change direction upfield. They'll go across the middle. They'll complete it, and they'll pick up another first. Jerron Harvey. Junior out of Jacksonville, Florida. Yes. 
Joseph throwing, caught, and knocked out of bounds. Castile with the hit. Cougars trying to cut into the band of lead. Little option pitch, wrapped up, Scott May, Alabama defensively, trying to make a wish right now with Blake Joseph. You had... So Joseph checks out, Keenum is in from the gun. The freshman looking, unloads it, pass is caught, first down, 34 yards on the attempt. The hold from Jordan Brown, Norby Juice is the snapper. Snap from Spotter good, the kick is up, and the kick is good as well. With two tight ends and a couple of wideouts in for Alabama. Delay give. Grant struggling to find running room, and he will lose four yards on the play. Actually, five is Brendan Pahulu. A couple of running plays, net negative yardage. And Fitzgerald, with one of his better efforts of the day, into the win. Drop. Alabama scoops it up. Tide has possession. Marquise Johnson. Picking up the loose football after Tarek Williams couldn't hang on to it. Nikita Stover, the other. Play action. They're looking for Hall. Instead, they're going to walk the side in on the crossing route, and he will make the grab. Step out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Second down and seven. Crawford. Strong running inside the 20-yard line all the way down to the 16. He's never had a 100-yard rushing game in an Alabama uniform, but just needs five more to hit that number. Short drop, quick out. Hall, try to break the tackle, does get near the first down mark. But now they're starting to really give him a cushion, and they're taking advantage of it. Second and about a yard. Coffee cuts it back, stumbles inside the five. That'll set up first and goal from about the four. D.J. Hall with that grab his third and now he does have more receptions than anybody in Alabama football history 153 coffee left side pushing the pile into the end zone touchdown Alabama Case Keenum in it quarterback pressure coming Mustin wraps him up they'll get the sack back at the 17 yard line again Mustin missing a good bit of that Arkansas game. And all of the following week against Georgia. But too much running room there after the catch. 15 yards on that play. Instead of 16 as it was originally ruled. Quick count. Lost the handle but then got it back. That's about the third time they have dribbled the basketball very effectively for positive yardage. <laughs> We begin the fourth quarter. Working on first and ten of the Cougars. Pitched Alders trying to get to the corner, and he does. Five, six, seven yards before sailing out of bounds. And a flag comes in. I think you're going to get a late hit against the Taj. Personal foul. Clipping. Number ten, offense. 15-yard penalty. Repeat first down. First down and 25. Dumping it off is Keenum. Catch is made by Derek Williams. 14.49 left to play. Keenum dumping it off. Aldridge breaking one tackle, breaking another. Now he's off to the races. And another late flag comes in as they whistle Alabama for a late hit. Rashad Johnson. 80,000 smart Alex that have jumped in all of a sudden. <laughs> Mike out of crowd, pressure coming. And yet Keenum able to elude it, get out of bounds and stop the clock. It's their first trip tonight. Little fader out, pass is broken up. That's a nice job by Kareem Jackson. Art Riles is living, he wants pass interference. Pass interference, number three, defense. Second and goal. Inside handoff. No running room. 
for Aldrich, who will check back in the game, and Gilberry records another tackle for loss all the way back to the 10. Blitz coming, pass is caught at the three, at the two, and Alabama swarms in to make sure that Tarek Williams doesn't get to the end zone. Now we'll work under center, quarterback keep. He dives, does he get in? Yes, he does, touchdown. Tell you what, that's a nice call right there. You sneak him up to the line of scrimmage, and it looked like he's just trying to maybe change the play. Instead, they go quick count, and he sneaks it in for the touchdown. Coffee cutting it back. Nice yardage. Keeps his feet up to the 30-yard line, and that'll be enough for an Alabama first down. They keep their shoulders square. They keep their legs up under them. They're able to, to pick up yardage after contact. They spotted him just shy of the 30, so with third and about a foot, John Parker Wilson on another quarterback keep, and he comes up hobbling a bit out of that pile. But with Wilson hobbling, need to get that guy loose just in case. Beautiful high spiraling kick by Fitzgerald and a fair catch called for and made this time by Tarek Williams. He had the fumble at the end of the third quarter. Thank you, Barry. First and ten for the Cougars. Case Keenum looking, throwing, pass caught, and then leveled by Rashad Johnson. It was Donnie Avery. You know Houston, Houston's trying to set those type of scenarios up. Second and a foot, give Aldridge first down and more. He gets inside the 35, may have run out of his shoe as he picks up running room up to, excuse me, the 48-yard line, a gain of 14 on the play. It backs it up to the 45 and sets up second and 14. He swing it out to Aldridge. He's got first down room and more. Keenum with all day to throw. Now pressure comes. He eludes it. He'll tuck it. He'll run it. And he will fall forward inside the 35 down to about the 33-yard line. As Alabama led this one 23 to nothing at the end of one quarter. They led it 30 to 10 just a few moments ago. But Houston with a touchdown drive. And again, Blake Joseph had been the starter, and he started to heat up a bit offensively. But now it's Keenum, it's Aldridge, he's in the end zone, and we've got a tight ball game with 7.06 to go. Another slant, 31 yards. Aldridge with another touchdown. And now Tarek Williams, who has dropped one punt that set up Bama's last touchdown, has to feel this one. It's a fair catch called for and made at the 25. If he drops it, Rashad Johnson, or excuse me, Marquise Johnson would have been there to scoop it up as he was earlier. Is this the 11? After the play, personal foul, number 10, kicking team. 15-yard penalty, first down. This lead has been as high as 23. It's also been at 20. Pressure coming. The throw downfield. It is picked up. Interception. Alabama's got it. Rashad Johnson with a lot of running room across midfield into Houston territory. Down to the 42-yard line as an Amity Fitz comes up with a huge play. Third and five. A chance to help ice things if you can pick up a first down. Wilson looking. Shuffle pass. Picked up. Picked off on the deflection, and the Cougars have it at their own 37-yard line. That pick thrown by Wilson, his fourth of the season. Keenum, pressure coming, looking for all. He's got a man there, and it is incomplete. And a late flag comes in. Pass interference, number 16, defense. 15-yard penalty. to the corner. And what a play by Prince Hall. Huge third down play and Talbot almost jumped off sides. Thankfully he got back. Direct snap to Aldridge. First down. Gets out of bounds with a 1.17 to go. Tide leads it by just six with a 1.17 to go. Keenum unloading it wide open is Harvey on this side. He's got a first down. Castile brings him down at the 23-yard line. Third down and six 
One timeout left. 17 seconds on the clock. Cougars looking. Blitz coming. Pressure. Eluding the man. Now he's going to be knocked down at the 15-yard line. They've got four wideouts. To the top of your picture, one to the near side. You better think of some sort of trick play right here. There's the fade, the jump ball. Ball is intercepted, Alabama. Picked off by Simeon Castile, and Alabama hangs on for the win. It was a jump ball. And they all conference corner. Simeon Castile went up and saved homecoming for Alabama. We well, got Harvey at 6'5", and Castile at 6'3". Two tall wide receivers for Houston, and they just throw a Hail Mary pass to them. But Simeon Castile does a great job. Down to Barry Krause with Nick Saban. Yeah, Coach, uh, it looked like a tale of two stories uh, as far as the first half and then the second half. Well, you know, we know that's the kind of team they are. They've been able to come back on other people. The thing you got to do is you got to play well on offense and take the air out of the ball so they don't have the ball so much. You know, we got tired on defense, and that was the biggest problem. We started missing tackles, losing leverage, couldn't run with 22 because he's a great player and he's a fast guy. So it's a great win for us. We won the game, you know, but, um, you know, we got to play better offense in the second half. All right, Coach, thank you. Thank you. Another photo finish in Tuscaloosa, but the tide hangs on 30 to 24 as Alabama improves to 4-2 on the year. Final comments when we come back to Tuscaloosa.